Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited to announce that the version 2.8.3 of the My Linux for Work dot files is now available. The new version includes a new settings app, a GTK based settings app that replaces now the terminal based settings app that you know from former versions. With this new GTK app, it's much easier and faster to optimize the My Linux for Work installation on your system. You can download the version from my GitLab repository, or if you have already installed the version 2.8.2, you can easily update with the My Linux for Work welcome app. Let's see it in action. Let's jump in. Welcome to my Hyperland desktop with my dot files in the version 2.8.3. You know, the dot files are chipped with the welcome app, and this is the perfect starting point for your customization options. And of course, to get all the information that you need about your Hyperland installation. Let's jump immediately to the key feature of the Hyperland dot files 2.8.3. This is the new GTK based setting script. Let's open that setting script. And this GTK settings app has replaced the script based settings app that you know from former versions. And you will see with that application, it's much easier and faster to customize your Hyperland installation with my dot files. You see here the three tabs on top, Waybar, Appearance and System. Let's start immediately with the Waybar part. With that toggle, you can disable or Enable Waybar. In the clock format section, you can customize the clock module of Waybar. For example, you can change the time format or the date format. Yeah, you can set this up to your needs. You can enter here at any time your custom date time format. And the information how to do this is behind this button, format specification, and then you get all the information that you need. In the module section, you can show or hide different Waybar modules. For example, the window module. Now the window module is gone or the chat GPT icon also now removed. Or if you don't want to have the Systray module visible in Waybar, you can Disable it here. Let's bring all modules back. And with the workspaces settings, you can, for example, add a sixth workspace to your installation. It's, you can add a sixth workspace to Waybar or a seventh. Let's bring it back to five. In the application section, you can define the applications for the Waiver Quick Links. For example, you can change here the browser or the file manager that is behind these icons. And the applications are also used here in the settings app, but I will come to that point later. Let's proceed to the appearance section. And here is also something new. You can change parameters of Rofi, the application starter. For example, you see here the default is a, a border of three pixel, a three pixel border around every element of Rofi, but you can also change this to one, for example. And if you start Rofi again, you see you have here now a one pixel border. Also on the wallpaper selector, a one pixel border. You can also disable the border by setting the border size to zero. And now the border is completely removed in all menus. Looks also nice. If the Fira Sans font does not fit into your requirements, you can change it here, but you can also just reduce the font size to 10, for example and then the font is a bit smaller. With the next section, you can change the background blur effect of the Rofi and the Hyperlock lock screen. Now let's increase, for example, the blur strength and 
switch to another wallpaper because this will now generate a new blurred image and will be used now in Rofi, but not only in Rofi, also in Hyperlock. This is Hyperlock, now using a blurred background. The clock very nice on the bottom right side with the username. And with your password, you come back to your desktop. You can also set this to one, change the wallpaper again, and now you see that the blur effect is nearly disabled. You have here Hyperland configuration variations available. For example, here some variations for animations. Um, let's change here to fast. And then you see that it's a very fast animation between the workspaces and when you open an application. You can also switch to moving. Then it's again a bit slower and you see that nice animation moving effect when you open a terminal, for example, or close it. The decoration variations Let's open here in the background some terminals. At the moment, I'm using a high blur, but I can also switch back to default. And you see that the blur of the windows are a bit lower. I can also switch it back to more blur and a high blur setting is activated. Let's move to the window variations. Here you can, for example, define the border width of the windows. At the moment, it's the default conf of three pixels, but I can also select a one pixel border, or I can disable the border completely with a no border variation. Yeah, and now the border is completely disabled and looks also very nice. Yeah. Let's change the wallpaper again. Yeah, looks very good. And in the system part, you can edit some core system configurations. You know already the custom configuration part from, from the former um, dot .files versions, but now you can access that file directly here with that button. And you have here the custom conf for Hyperland directly in Mousepad. You can add there your custom configurations. This is a section to set up some timeouts for Hyperidle, the idle daemon that is now chipped with Hyperland. You can set the timeout for Hyperlock. For example, Hyperlock timeout is set to 10 minutes, DPNS timeout to 11 minutes, and also the, the suspend timeout can be adjusted here. You have access to the file by clicking that button. And here is the hyper idle configuration. Monitor variation, you can select here a different screen resolution. Key binding is set to default, environments to default, but you can also select a configuration if you run a Hyperland in a QEMU virtual machine. And some window rule variations are defined here. By the way, variations. Let me show you how you can create your own custom variation. Let's take the window variations with the border section as an example. You see here the three dots. When you click on about variations, you have here access to a tutorial that I have created for you. Here you can find all the informations how to create your own variations. But let me give you an example. So, window variations. I open here the variation folder first. It opens sooner and shows directly the variations that are available for the Windows section. You can take one of the existing, copy and paste it and rename it. For example, I want to create a variation for a 10 pixel border. And now I have here the variation and I can 
added the variation with mouse pad in my example and I changed the border size to 10. I can close. I can also close now the Thuna file manager and here you can find the menu item reload variations and now the border10.conf is available and if you activate it you have a 10 pixel border and if this is defined you can directly edit this variation with edit variation and for example switch back to 5. When you save it it will be immediately activated. Now we have a border of 5 pixels around the windows and another good side effect of your custom variation is that if you update to a newer version of the dot files these variations will not be overwritten and can be restored during the installation process and this can be done with all of the variations yeah for every variation the same menu you can open the variation folder for example here if you need a custom monitor settings you can copy an existing configuration as a starting point and customize the values and activate it then again in that drop down menu. For example, if you want to have a two monitor, multiple moni monitor set up with different resolutions, you can do this with a custom variation. Here you can search, for example, for a, a settings, for example, here, the editor section is now here. And if you don't want to use Mousepad as an editor, you can, for example, change it to code if it's installed. And when I now go back to the window variation, click here on edit current variation, you will see that code is showing the configuration and you can change it, for example, back to 10. When you save it, you have again a 10 pixel border. Or you can, of course, switch back to the default variation. This is a very flexible way to create your own custom setup in Hyperland. And the rest is known. You can change here with that button the wallpaper. You can switch here to another theme for Waybar. Here you have access to the settings app, but you can also open the settings app directly from the application launcher. If you have already installed the version 2.8.2 .2 on your system, you can easily update with the My Linux for Work Welcome app. Just click on the three dots here on the upper right side and select update dot files. This will download the latest version of the My Linux for Work dot files and will start the installer up automatically. You can decide between the main release or the rolling release. And with this video, the version 2.8.3 should be available as main release. Three. And, that's it. and that's it. The version 2.8.3 of the My Linux for Work dot files with the new GTK settings app. I hope you like it. And now full concentration on the version 2.9 of the My Linux for Work dot files. With this version, I will release a dedicated Hyperland settings app. With that settings app, you can optimize and tweak every component of your Hyperland installation without working in text-based configuration files. So stay tuned and see you next time.